Hi there, I'm Eitan and welcome to Wix Fixer. This is part of our series on Wix, the Wix Data API. And in this video, I'll be talking about limit, which is part of Wix query. Uh, using limit, we will be able to change how many results or how many items we get back inside the result of our query. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so here we have our example from last time. And I already have the whole query set up over here. And basically, it's an open query for my collection, which is called collection example. And this query will run anytime that I press the search button. I consoled out um, populating the query using uh, a search term, and we're not going to be uh, populating the repeater with data either. Uh, we're only going to be consoling and showing you how to change the amount of items that you can get back using limit. And the way to do that is pretty simple. It's just by writing over here dot limit. And inside of here, you will write a number. So if you remember last from last time, the default amount of items that you get back from a Wix query is 50. So for example, if I write in here 100, and then I run my code, then you'll see that I should get back 100 items here inside the result, assuming that there are 100 items. So let's take a look over here. And you can see that if I scroll all the way down, I'll move this aside. You can see that we have 99, which is basically 100 because we started from zero. And this is um, something that you might want to do depending on how many items you want back. Uh, but it's also important to take into consideration that the more items you're getting back, the longer the query will take. Uh, so let's just show you an example. So if I go back to the editor and let's say, uh, let's query just for one item. Okay. So we're only going to get one item back and I'll go into preview. And I'm going to click search. And you'll see that we got our item back relatively quickly. Now, if I go back to the editor and I change this to 1000 and then head into preview and then click search. then that came back pretty quickly as well, to be honest. But this was also a relatively simple query. So we weren't really um, querying for anything specific, like using equals or contains like we did last time. We were just kind of querying for all of the items in a row, which is, I'm figuring, easier for them to search for. So if I go back to the editor, and for example, let's add another parameter here, which is, um, let's use contains. Contains, right? And then here, so we'll search for first name. And let's just search for the letter I. So anybody whose first name has the letter I. And let's start off with limit one. So I'm going to preview that. And click search. And that came back pretty quickly. So we have one person here with the letter I, and that's actually me. <laughs> so let's go back to the editor. And let's change this to 1,000. So I don't know if I have 1,000 people with the letter I in their first name, but it'll be a larger amount than one, that's for sure. And now let's run our query. Yeah, so you could see it took a little longer than looking for one. Uh, and if the query is more complex, it would probably take more time. And this might seem like, you know, milliseconds. So why is this even important? But in general, when you're running queries, you only want to get the data that you need. You don't want to waste time getting data that you don't need. So for example, if you have a repeater, 
and you're only planning on showing 10 people at a time from your collection or 10 items from the collection, then you should really only query for the 10 that you need or maybe query for 20 and show 10. Uh, but you don't need a query for a thousand items if you're only going to be displaying 10 items. And that's where something that's called pagination comes in, which you can see here uh, in the documentation uh, under next and previous. And that is something that we'll talk about in one of the future videos. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video about limit. I'll say one more thing that I didn't say is that there's a limit of 1000, as it says here in the documentation. And for some collections, it might be less than a thousand if they are built in Wix collections. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.